Have you ever thought about who you really want to be? Sometimes our self-image can hold us back from reaching our full potential. Dr. Maxwell Maltz, a famous plastic surgeon, studied this phenomenon and discovered something interesting during his career. Some patients would undergo cosmetic surgery and come out feeling like a whole new person, while others would remain unhappy. This led him to realize that a person's self-image, or how they see themselves in their imagination, is more important than their physical appearance. Dr. Maltz developed a groundbreaking system called Psycho-Cybernetics, which helps individuals reprogram their self-image and achieve the success they desire. In this video, we'll explore the key insights of Psycho-Cybernetics, including visualization, activating your automatic success mechanism, and de-hypnotizing yourself from false beliefs. So sit back and get ready to unlock your true potential and become the person you've always wanted to be. Let's get started. Your self-image is the key to unlocking your true potential. But what exactly is this self-image? It's your own concept of the type of person you are. It's your beliefs about yourself that have mostly been formed unconsciously from past experiences. These beliefs are mostly controlled by three factors, the source of authority, the intensity of an experience, and repetition. Think about it. Have you ever been told something so many times that you eventually started to believe it? Or maybe you had a negative experience that left a lasting impression on you. These experiences can shape the way you see yourself and the world around you. But here's the good news. You can reprogram your self-image to create the life you want. Dr. Maltz called this mechanism within you the theater of the mind, which involves visualization or creative mental picturing. By forming a vivid and detailed picture in your imagination of the self you want to be and seeing yourself in that new role, you can start to change the way you see yourself. The key is to make these mental pictures as detailed as possible, paying attention to small details like sights, sounds, and objects in your imagined environment. With regular practice, you may surprise yourself by acting differently, more spontaneously and automatically without even trying. So take a moment to consider, what kind of person do you want to become? What do you want to achieve? By harnessing the power of your self-image, you have the ability to create the life you desire. Another key insight of psycho-cybernetics is understanding your automatic success mechanism. Dr. Maltz realized that our subconscious mind is not a separate entity from our conscious mind, but rather a powerful goal-striving success mechanism that operates within our minds. In other words, we don't have two separate minds. We have one mind and we use that mind to operate our automatic success mechanism. This realization has huge implications for how we can achieve our goals and improve our lives. By understanding and harnessing the power of this automatic success mechanism, we can create the life we desire and reach our full potential. Once you have a clear idea of the target you want to achieve, you need to trust your automatic success mechanism to figure out how to make it happen. Start by setting a goal in your mind, even if it's somewhat vague, and keep it in your focus. If you have a burning desire to achieve that goal and start thinking about it from all angles, your creative mechanism goes to work. It scans through stored information or draws upon your past experiences and ideas to form a solution to your problem. This process happens in the background of your mind without your active involvement or awareness. You might find the solution to your problem when you're not even thinking about it, like when you're in the shower or taking a walk or even in a dream. But when the solution comes to your consciousness, you'll immediately recognize it as the answer you've been seeking. This is the power of your automatic success mechanism working behind the scenes, helping you achieve your goals in ways that your conscious mind could never have imagined. Trust your automatic success mechanism to figure out how to make your goals happen, because the answers you seek are already within you. Imagination is the key to setting that clear goal picture. This is because we act, or fail to act, not because of willpower, as is commonly believed, but because of imagination. Your imagination is like a blueprint for your success mechanism, giving it a specific goal to work towards. The more vividly and specifically you can imagine your goal, the more effectively your success mechanism can work towards achieving it. But what if you're feeling stuck or don't know where to start? That's where your success mechanism can really come in handy. You can assign it a task or problem to solve and let it work on it in the background while you do other things. By doing this, 
you can have your success mechanism return with useful solutions you might never have obtained through conscious thought or worry. Sometimes, though, our limiting beliefs can hold us back from achieving our goals. The good news is that you have the power to de-hypnotize yourself from these false beliefs. One of the most effective ways to do this is through the power of rational thinking. By examining our beliefs and challenging them with rational thinking, we can replace old, limiting beliefs with new, empowering ones. It's not possible to hold two conflicting beliefs, so it's important to challenge your false beliefs with rational thinking. As Dr. Maltz discovered, our actions and feelings are based on what we believe to be true about ourselves and our environment. So if we want to change our actions and feelings, we must first change what we believe to be true. This is why it's so important to challenge false beliefs and replace them with new ones that align with our goals and values. This can be done through exposure to new ideas, people, experiences, and mentors who challenge our old beliefs and help us see things in a new way. Once you have discovered a new truth and replaced your old beliefs with new ones, your self-image will change. Your success mechanism will then work to create a new reality that aligns with your new beliefs. It's important to note that feeling like a victim is not a result of our unconscious mind, but rather our conscious thinking mind. It's with our conscious mind that we draw conclusions and select the goal images that we will focus on. This means in order to stop feeling victimized by our past experiences or false beliefs, we need to change our conscious thinking and stop giving power to the past. But simply changing our thinking isn't enough. We need to feel deep desire and emotion in order to truly change our beliefs and behaviors. By combining rational thinking with intense desire and emotion, we can overcome our limiting beliefs and start creating a new reality for ourselves that aligns with our true potential. Have you ever had a day when everything just seemed to fall into place and you felt like you could conquer the world? That feeling of confidence and success is what Dr. Maltz refers to as the winning feeling. And it's a crucial ingredient for achieving our goals. When our automatic success mechanism is set to success, we naturally experience that winning feeling. But what if we're not feeling it? That's where visualization comes in. By picturing ourselves successfully achieving our goals and feeling that winning feeling, we can actually bring it to life in ourselves. And when that feeling is strong, we can accomplish almost anything. So if you want to get and keep that winning feeling, start by visualizing your success and feeling that feeling as strongly as possible. Think back to a moment when you felt successful in the past, no matter how big or small the achievement was. What mattered most was the feeling of success that came with it. By replaying those moments in your mind and visualizing all the little details surrounding it, you can recreate that feeling and use it to drive yourself towards future success. The more specific and detailed you can make the memory, the better. Recapture how you felt at the time and try to relive those emotions in the present. Apply that feeling of success to your current goals and visualize yourself already succeeding. Use your imagination to see yourself acting and feeling as if you've already accomplished your goals. By doing this, you can tap into the power of that winning feeling and make it a reality. In other words, don't overthink it. Trying too hard to force things to happen can actually hinder your progress. Instead, focus on visualizing your end goal as already achieved and tap into the feeling of success that comes with it. This is where the power of your automatic success mechanism comes in, guiding you towards the right actions and supplying creative ideas. Trust in the process and let your inner workings do the heavy lifting. Rather than trying to force yourself to accomplish a task through sheer willpower, it's important to learn to relax and trust in your automatic success mechanism. By picturing the end result you desire and then allowing your subconscious to take over, you can avoid mental conflict and instead focus your efforts towards reaching your goals. This doesn't mean you won't have to put in effort or work hard, but your efforts will be more focused and effective when you allow your success mechanism to work in harmony with your conscious mind. Learning to delegate to your subconscious mind and trusting it to do its job can lead to pleasant surprises and unexpected breakthroughs on your path to success. Dr. Maltz believed that the habit of happiness is something that can be acquired with practice. One of the primary causes of unhappiness, according to him, is taking things personally that are not personal at all. 
By recognizing this, we can begin to detach ourselves from negative emotions and focus on the positive aspects of our lives. This habit of happiness allows us to be freed from the domination of outward conditions and maintain a positive outlook regardless of what is happening around us. By consciously choosing to focus on the positive aspects of our lives and letting go of negative thoughts and emotions, we can train ourselves to be happier and more fulfilled individuals. As goal-oriented individuals, we function best when we have a clear objective in mind. Pursuing our goals is a natural state for us, and when we're making progress towards something we truly desire, we tend to feel happy and fulfilled, regardless of external circumstances. That's why it's important to have a sense of purpose and direction in life. When we feel like we are making progress towards our goals, we experience a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction. This, in turn, leads to greater happiness and well-being. By focusing on our goals and working towards them with determination and enthusiasm, we can cultivate the habit of happiness and live a more fulfilling life. Dr. Maltz suggests maintaining a positive, goal-oriented mindset at all times, regardless of external circumstances. This requires a proactive attitude that can be practiced in our everyday lives and in our imagination. By visualizing ourselves facing challenges with intelligence and confidence, we can train ourselves to react positively to them rather than running away or avoiding them. Ultimately, our thoughts and emotions are within our control. No one else can dictate how we think or feel. Waiting for circumstances to justify positive thinking is futile, as every day is a mix of good and bad elements. Instead, we can choose what to focus on and decide whether to have an optimistic or pessimistic outlook. By deliberately selecting positive thoughts and focusing on what we want to achieve, we can cultivate a habit of happiness and live a more fulfilling life. In the book, he suggests building a quiet room within your mind, a calm and peaceful space that you can retreat to when life gets too chaotic. This room is created in your imagination and serves as a mental and emotional decompression chamber. By retreating to this room periodically, you can release yourself from the tensions, worries, and stresses of daily life and recharge your batteries. Think of it like a deep breath of fresh air for your mind and soul. When you emerge from your quiet room, you'll feel refreshed and ready to tackle whatever challenges come your way with renewed vigor. So take a moment to imagine and build your own quiet room within your mind. You'll be amazed at how much it can help you cope with the ups and downs of life. Remember that your self-image is the key to unlocking your full potential. With the power of visualization, the automatic success mechanism, rational thinking, and cultivating the habit of happiness, you can create the life you desire. It all starts with defining your end goal and using the power of your imagination to visualize it as already achieved. Remember to trust in your automatic success mechanism and delegate to your subconscious mind while remaining goal-oriented and maintaining a positive attitude. By doing this, you can unlock your true potential and become the person you've always wanted to be. So start practicing these techniques today and watch as your life transforms into the one you've always dreamed of.